Today I am going to show you all around my living room. So if you are like me and you love a room tour and you love seeing in people's houses, then this is the video for you. My whole kind of philosophy is like you can have the house you want and you don't have to spend an absolute fortune. Thankfully, I'm almost grateful that when I bought my house, I was kind of poor because if I had had money, I probably just like everyone else would have went out to the shops and bought all the shabby chic expensive furniture. But I'm actually kind of grateful that um, I had no money because it like exploded my creativity and opened up the door for recycling everything in my house. My living room, I kind of, actually my whole house, I follow the same kind of colour palette. It's very neutral and I know that might bore some people but the reason why my house is so bright and white and pinky and pastel and neutral is because it's a small house. It's actually not a big house so if I had loads of dark colours, when I moved in there was pine everywhere, um, dark wallpaper, brown carpet, I'm even shuddering at the top. Um, it made the house just look so dark so I had to brighten it up. Um, the way my house is laid out, laid out it doesn't get a lot of natural light. So I painted like all of the pine, all the doors, put in some glass doors so you'll see, um, just to get the light into the house. I'm one of them people that like need bright light, I can't be in like dark rooms. So that's what the first thing I done when with the living room. So the biggest job I done in my living room was painting the fireplace. My fireplace used to be pine, really, really dark. It's not a huge room like I said. So as soon as I painted that, oh my God, it just looks so much brighter. It matched in with the theme of the style that I like. So that kind of shabby chic, bright, cottagey kind of feel. I do have a blog post on how I painted my fireplace. It's an old blog post, so the images are quite old, but you'll get a feel for the before and after. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description box and I'll update some of the images on it as well. It was um, about two years ago I actually painted it, um, but basically I followed my three golden rules for painting, which is prep, prime and paint and I use a satin wood on that. It's not a chalk paint. Um, I use Dulux satin wood in I think antique white or antique cream. It's in the blog post anyway so you can check that out and I'll leave that in the description box. Some women collect handbags and shoes. I collect china. <laughs> this is like my thing. Um, so I collect teacups or anything kind of like ornamental, knickknacks, trinkets, ornaments, <laughs> anything that's kind of cute, floral, shabby chic, fine bomb china. I'm all over that. 
So at the moment I am collecting the Royal Albert New Country Rose and um, that's kind of my thing at the moment and I'm trying to build up that collection. I have a good bit of it, I have some of the plates, I have the teapots and um, basically every time I do something I reward myself with a teapot. So last year I went to London a few times by myself so when I was in the airport in Harrods I would buy myself a teapot or like a teacup or something really cute just to kind of say well done. Most of the stuff I'm able to kind of pick up when it's on sale, so I know House of Fraser um, and Ernest, whenever they have like 20% off or like a sale, I'll go in and I'll like buy in addition what I'm looking for. So I think I need to get more smaller plates, so when there's a sale on, I'll go in and I'll pick them up. Or as well, when I've gone to London in Harrods, especially the one in the airport, they have like an extra 10% off and sometimes if the sterling is good, you can pick them up that way as well and they're a little bit cheaper, but on the whole, it is kind of an expensive habit because some people think china teacups oh they'll just be cheap but they're actually not and because they're really popular at the moment a lot of people are buying them i'll let you in on a little secret set up a search alert on the likes of if you're in ireland adverts.ie and done deal so set up a notification thing or a search alert so when someone lists a teacup tea set or royal albert um you'll get a ding on your phone and you can get in there straight away because they do sell quick. Um, also eBay, um, but just bear in mind the shipping as well. So that's my little secret for getting cheap tea sets. Um, sometimes people get them as wedding presents. I got really lucky with a rose confetti set. Someone got that as a wedding present and they didn't want it and I was like straight in there, bargain. Um, so set up search alerts if it is your thing and you want to get them that bit cheaper. Another little tip is if it's your birthday, Christmas or Valentine's or anniversaries or anything like that and um, ask people for additions to your teacup set. So if it's my birthday, I'll say, hey, can I have that teapot? Um, that's another way to kind of build up your collection as well. Like my mum knows I'm obsessed with like the Carol and Donnelly stuff and done. So she'll buy me, she'll say, what piece do you need? And she'll like pick it up for me for my birthday or for Christmas. Um, so that's another kind of way to build your china set. So my little china um, shelf, this is actually from Ikea and it's actually a kitchen shelf unit but um, I have used it to display china in my living room just because I have china everywhere. Um, so I use this to display, it's quite heavy so make sure you put it on a support. And I had to pick one teapot, that was my favourite. I suppose it's going to be this one because that was the first teapot I actually bought from Royal Albert and I think I got that for my birthday um, but yeah that was my first teapot but I do love these mini little teapots. I'm also a little bit obsessed with these tea for one sets. I think these are the absolute cutest and this I got um, in London because I treated myself because I got on an airplane all by myself so my reward in Harrods was a tea for one set. This Miranda Care for Royal Albert set was actually one of my first three O's to buy and um, both of those I think I picked them up again in London you can see my little trend every time I go to London I get a tea set but the Miranda Care for Royal Albert was my first actual set to buy. These tiny little teacups are my absolute favourite. These are the ones from Buckingham Palace and um, you can get them in Harrods and a little tip was they were on offer in Harrods so they were cheaper in Harrods in the airport than they were in the shop at Buckingham Palace. My actual china cabinet was, um, that's one of my first upcycles as well. There's a little bit of random stuff in it at the moment. It could do with having a clear out. There's just some, some of the teacups that aren't, they don't make it to the shelf. They kind of go in here, but yeah, it can definitely do it a little, a little clean. The unit itself, I picked up secondhand on Adverse. It was one of my first upcycles. Um, and yeah, it was a little bargain. My TV unit as well is an upcycle, so that was, I think that was a real estate. I think I got that for like 10 or 20 euros off a second hand um, site. It was mahogany and I painted it in chalk paint. That's actually Annie Sloan chalk paint. Um, when I started upcycling I used to use a lot of that so that's one of the first pieces I done. These nest of tables I remember going to an upcycling class and I had to bring something to paint and um, now I've since redone them and um, the middle one used to be 
I think they were all cream, but I added purple um, to the middle one just to pick up on the little purple bits in the room. My couches are second hand and they are cream. Um, so basically to kind of save them, we are obsessed with blankets and throws. So I keep like a throw on each corner and then we just have some blankets at the bottom. I think that blanket is a Marks and Spencer's one. And then I am always cozy cozy with my blankets. So that's where you find me in the evening with my blankets and my laptop. And then hanging hearts I suppose. How many hanging hearts can one girl have? <laughs> I have tons. <laughs> we moved in and these doors were normal doors and to get some more light into the room we added these glass panel doors. I got these I think I got these in B&Q and I painted them in Authentico and the shade is called Dolphin and um, they just completely lighten everything up, make the room so much brighter. My wallpaper is Laura Ashley Beatrice Sickleman and that little thing there is from Ikea and I have them on both sides and I basically, that's wallpapered and then the scrap wallpaper is put inside them. I've actually changed the wallpaper a few times in this room but this is one I've kind of settled on um, because I just really like the colours and my house was really neutral and this kind of pop of pink and lilac um, just brought a bit of colour to the house. I use a lot of the Laura Ashley wallpapers throughout my house. Um, I always get them when there is a sale on so um, I make sure to pick them up when there is a sale on so you can get your value for money. My walls then are painted in antique white or antique cream by Crown. I think it's antique white. It's a good while since we um, painted them. Then just have wooden blinds in this room. I don't have curtains um, but it is kind of something I've been thinking about but it's because I have this kind of little bay window and it's a snug. Um, I haven't added any curtains. We just have the wooden blinds on the windows went with the kind of cream coloured blinds and um, just to add more light to the room um, and they definitely do they almost like reflect the light back into the room and see I'm obsessed with the fake flares this one is from Marks and Spencers and um, this room as it doesn't get much natural light real flares tend to die off so I try and keep the real flares in the kitchen and the fake ones in the living room I'm a bit random when it comes to cushions, um, that one's from Marks and Spencers, that's an old pennies one. I kind of mix and match them, um, I just like that one because there was a rabbit on it. So that's kind of how I pick things, how I like them. So these are some of the tea sets that, how gorgeous are these? These I want to get up but I just need some shelves. Um, these are absolutely gorgeous, these are from Carolyn Donnelly. Boxes are just actually too pretty to throw out, how could you throw out that box? So even if you keep that, I don't know, for receipts or just knickknacks or trinkets, they're absolutely gorgeous. And I've got these absolutely gorgeous cake plates. You might have seen these in my Christmas Marks and Spencer's gift video. Um, but these I need to get up on a wall. They have gorgeous little phrases. Um, they actually will be really cute in the kitchen. And they also come with the matching teacups. Um, these are really vintage. How gorgeous are they? They are so cute. And the colours are fab.
thank you so much for watching and your lovely comments and you will find me daily on Instagram so if you want to see more cute house pics you can come follow me on Instagram and then check out my blog as well and I'll make sure to link to the fireplace uh, down below and I also have a post as well on where I buy my china so if you want to read that as well I will leave all the links below in the description box and don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and I will chat to you all next week. Thank you.